Local support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Hi! We're the 6th grade class from St. John Lutheran School, home of the Tigers. Welcome to News 6! I'm Stephanie Emling from St. John Lutheran School. Welcome to News 6. With today's first story, here's Corey Luring. Our first story takes us in the dark room of a printing shop. Hilltop Printing makes everything from flyers to invitations. This story shows the hard work and time that goes into printing. Jackie Nepley gives us a behind the scenes report. Hi, I am Jackie Nepley at Hilltop Printing, and we are going to learn about the printing process from our friend, Ril Harner. What is your job here at Hilltop Printing? My job here at Hilltop Printing is owner, manager, and I do the purchasing. What types of things do you print? We print business cards, letterheads, envelopes, any type of a job that includes the three color, three different colors at one time. Will you show us some printing techniques? Yes, I will. I'll show you how offset's done. The customer brings his copy in, and we take it to the dark room and make a negative from the customer's original copy. We bring the negative to burn the image into the plate, and it's done by a real bright light. The plate is put on the press and the finished product will appear. What is your favorite part of the printing business? I guess my favorite part of the business is seeing the customer go out happy. Thank you for letting us interview you, Mr. Harner. And now back to the studio. Today's News 6 is produced by the 6th grade class of St. John Lutheran School. St. John Lutheran is in the town of Defiance, which is 16 miles west of Napoleon. It was founded in 1794 and has a population of 16,768 people. Our next story is about an actor by the name of Fred Lye, who has appeared in many movies and advertisements. His Re most recent work can be seen in the 1993 movie Gettysburg. Corey Wren fills us in on Fred's experience. Hi, my name is Corey Wren and I'm interviewing Mr. Fred Lai on Civil War reenactments. How and why did you get started in Civil War reenactments? Reenactments, everyone that gets into it gets into it because they love and study history. What type of historical events do you reenact? I've reenacted movies, miniseries. In Europe, I reenacted the Battles of Waterloo, Knights on Horseback, to World War I in the trenches. I've done my own radio program, a talk program, and TV commercials in Texas. Would you tell us who you perform for? We perform for anyone from the movie industry to radio people to people that want to do advertising. Anyone that wants to show a historical event will ask us to come. What was it like to do the movie Gettysburg? Gettysburg was really unusual because we were on the actual battlefields. When we arrived in Gettysburg, we set up our tents and we lived as the soldiers did. We had Reveille was played in the morning to get up at 4 o'clock. Taps was played at 10 at night. Bugle was played when it was time to go and eat. What is the most unique part of reenactments? The most unique is going to depend on you. For me, the most unique is to wear the uniform and get out with thousands of men and march through a field 
that 130 years ago other men marched through and died on. Thank you for telling us about Civil War reenactments. Let's march on back to the studio. Is there some place that you've always found fascinating or exciting? Well, this week's Kids View question asked the sixth graders, where would you like to visit and why? Here's what we found out. Hi, today's Kids View question is, where would you like to visit and why? I'd like to visit the Statue of Liberty because I heard it's a really neat place to go. I would like to visit the White House so that I could meet the President. I would like to visit the Lincoln Memorial because he is one of my favorite presidents. The final story today is about a family operated bakery that has been quite successful for the past 121 years. Brown's Bakery makes a variety of breads and enjoys its long standing reputation. Julie Bowers has more details. Hi, my name is Julie Bowers and I'm here interviewing David Graham on how to make bread here at Brown's Bakery. Mr. Graham, when did Brown's Bakery originate? Brown's Bakery was started by my great-great-grandparents in Baltimore, Maryland in uh, 1873. And they, they moved here to the Defiance area in uh, 1877. And uh, they had friends in this area and family. Started the bakery up uh, actually on the north side of uh, Maumee River originally. They moved from that location to the downtown area and eventually where we are now at the south end of town. Would you tell us how the bread is made? Uh, Julie, we start off in our mixing department where we put all the ingredients together and, and form a dough. And from that department, we'll send it over to a makeup, which cuts the mass into smaller pieces, loaf sizes, and uh, puts those into a cylinder, as, as you'll see out in the shop. And then we put that in a pan that goes into a proof box, which gets the dough piece up to a certain volume before that we bake it. Then we'll bake it off. Uh, we'll bring it out of the oven, cool it down, we'll slice it, and then we'll wrap it, and we're ready for shipping then. What else do you make here at the bakery? Besides bread, we're, we're baking buns, hamburger hot dog rolls, and also uh, dinner rolls. What is an interesting fact about the Browns Bakery? Uh, Browns is probably very unique from the standpoint that we're one of the oldest family-run, family-owned wholesale bakers in the country left. Mr. Graham, thank you for the interview and the tour of Browns Bakery. And now back to the studio. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week when the 6th grade class of St. Paul visits New 6. Local support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.